Okay, example four. Now, example four is more of a talking example than it is um, a, a writing example. You're not going to see a whole lot, but I'm going to switch back and forth to some things so we can figure out what we're talking about. Guys, remember domain. The domain goes with the x's, right? And range goes with y. Okay. Now, A says describe the domain or the x's and the range, the y's, of the function y equals 2 to the x, which is graphed in example 2. Now I'm going to pop back to example 2 for a minute and let's look at this. This is y equals 2 to the x. And I wish I had a pointer that I could use here, you know. But looking at this graph, here, let's look at the, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Looking at this graph, never mind. What can x be from here to here? Okay, I can plug in any x I want. There's not an x that I can't plug in, right? So the domain, the x's, are all real numbers. I can plug in any number for x in y equals 2 to the x. All right, so the domain, and I'm going to put that in braces, right we put our domain in braces is all real numbers okay there's a little abbreviation for that it's an R with double lines that means all real numbers okay now we need to talk about the range of y equals 2 to the x okay we're gonna go back at that graph and I'm gonna look at its range what can its y's be well, when I think, when I look at this, remember y is an output. It's what we're going to get after we plug in the x's. And I can plug in any x. But looking at this, looking at this function right here, y equals 2 to the x, is there any exponent that's going to make 2 negative? It's never going to be negative. Not only that, it's never going to be 0. It could be 2 to the negative 6 trillionth. And all that would be is 1 over 2 to the 6 trillionth. And that'd be a terribly small number, but it wouldn't be 0. It would be something greater than 0. So no matter what the x is, the y is always going to be positive. So my answer, the way I would write it is, all real numbers such that x is greater than not x, I'm sorry guys, I did this in class today, so I hope you guys caught my mistake, such that y is greater than 0. Alright, so the range can be any number as long as it's greater than 0, okay, as long as it's positive. Alright, now for b, actually b, you know, I mean, same concepts. b says describe the domain and the range of the function y equals 3 times 1 half to the x. Alright, well let's look at that graph, okay. Now, this is flipped. It's uh, rotated around the y-axis, right? But look at the x's again. From here to here, it can be any x, right? I can plug in any number for x, and I'm going to get a y, all right? So the domain for the b function, I'm going to write domain, is all real numbers. There's not a number that I can't plug in, okay? all real numbers but now its range let's look at that let's go back to the graph and look at that again when I look at the range for this is there any value of X that's gonna make one half negative no I can take X as far back as negative you know 65 trillion and what that's gonna do is it's gonna be it's gonna flip it and it's gonna be 2 to 65 trillion it's gonna be an enormously large number or I can take that, that exponent and make it 65 trillion, positive. And that's just going to make it a very small number. But it's not going to be 0. And then I'm going to multiply it by 3. So again, the range, the y's, when I plug that in, I'm always going to get a number that is positive, that is bigger than 0. So my range for this is all real numbers such that y is greater than zero. Okay? That's it. Okay. Good job, guys. I think you're ready for your homework. Go for it.